Right, I'm here at Manor Street Market, um, just off Union Street, next to Union Corner. I'm just going to show you around and introduce you to some really cool people. Here I've got Emily, and the lovely Emily has her own business called Green Gal Goods. That's her little sign. And she's got some delicious vegan food today for us. Hi, Emily. Hi. <laughs> uh, what have you got for us here? So I've got some homemade Vegan. Oh yeah. Um, but people have been eating them and saying how similar it is. I don't even notice. Cool. So that's a good one. They're full of like flavour. Yeah, yeah. And like herbs and spices and things. So is it like vegetables inside? And and vegetables and, and, and um, no cheese. No cheese and no eggs. Okay. It's got vegan cheese and tofu instead. Ah, yeah. nice. Um, we've got some gluten-free vegan chocolate muffins. Mm. They're good. super moist. Yeah. And we've got some blueberry muffins as well. Oh, they look lush. Thank you. Thank you. And just to promote Emily's business, so that's her little uh, card and some further details on the back. Right. Am I making talk? Yeah, do you want? Hello. 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 Oh, I do love the blueberries. Oh, I do love a good blueberries. Very lovely. Oh, hello. It's little Pete. Oh, hello. Can you give me a wave? Chess puzzle. Oh, that's very good. I love a good chess puzzle. Well, I'll come along later and have a go, I think. Well, but I'd like to see how Grunge Davy does. Don't talk about him because I've taken him over. Because <laughs> I am the new Grunge Davy. Oh, thank you. Oh, I do like this. Oh, it's wonderful. Oh, I like this. Oh, wow. oh, hello. Hello, hello. Good luck. Not another thing. Distancing. We, we are. So quick, shake hands. Oh, we never did that. <laughs> oh, it's Mary. Oh, hello, Pete. It's Pete. Look, everybody's famous Pete. <laughs> Pete, would you like... It's the artist, Mary. Pete, would you like a necklace? Oh, would you put one on me? Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, it's blue, really, really suits me. It really suits me. Yeah, I like this. Oh, look at this wonderfulness. And would you like, would you like? Oh, oh thanks for letting me eat that. Very good food. Oh, lovely. I'll give you a necklace, Bob. Oh, I've got you sorted. Oh, uh, no, I'm just catching this at the moment. Oh, it's, it's a famous writer called James Bridgewater. Hello, James. Oh, look, there's a little Oh, there's a shooting distancing going on there. Right, sorry. That's James's okay. autobiography, yeah, James Bridgewater, cool. Confessions of an Emotional Shipwreck. Yeah, we just go over to this person who is called Hannah, who thinks she's responsible for some of this. Hello? Are you called Hannah? I am, yeah. Are you responsible for this? Welcome to the market, yeah. What, what, to, tell us what happens down here. Um, lots of different stalls, lots of people getting together, having a lovely time, a bit Ooh. of music. Oh, that sounds good, you put some music by. Oh, one the zoo. And, um, and, 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 hot club. Oh, is that Julian? Yeah, oh, he's a good friend of mine. He's a legend. Yes, he is. A bit of an old punk, not like me. He's got serious style. I'd like to see his doll. <laughs> oh, that's coming, don't worry. All the artists have been replaced by dolls. <laughs> <laughs> there would be no humans left for time I finish. Right, thank you, Hannah. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you again. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Oh, I, I'm actually MC. Oh, yes. Um, well, there you go. There's a tour of the Manor Market, and we're going to be picking this up later on YouTube. Ah, <laughs> I look forward to seeing it. Right, um, here we are today with the uh, very massive crowd of Glastonbury. 
I, I would like to introduce the Manila Gig 220 COVID style. Don't hold hands like I do when I'm in the Manila Market. What, what are you doing here? Oh, I was just going to read this before I introduced Brian. Oh, so you're trying to take my slot away, are you? Yeah. No. What? No, I'm not. I'm not trying to take your slot away. All right, good. Because I am the MC. Soon all their wonder suit will be dolls. Chi, Gabby, Mike, all become dolls. Okay, oh, right, okay. okay. <laughs> We're gonna come dolls. So it's called Young Lovers Love. I met a girl with jet black hair under the Palace Theatre, just like Laura Harvey, sketching a film sketch. Curtain calls to curtain calls, ice cream melts. But a kiss was more delicious than a strawberry ice cream as we kissed at the bus stop. Altogether, I still don't recall her name. I still do not recall her name. I still do not recall her name on Union Street. Her dress shone like a shone, 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 like a searchlight, a searchlight, a searchlight. Louder than any bomb, sweeter than any death, greater than any birth, more surreal than even Brian Herdman. Even more surreal than James over there. I know what his second name is. I'm he's called name. Jason. I know his second name. Even more surreal than James Brian Hedlund Jason Vegas. <laughs> if, all, if only all love could be good as one night, one passion, one kiss. Lo young lovers running under the sky in starlight. The curfew sounded and the air raid sounded. Love is better than war. Love is sweeter than war. But the curtain calls and I still don't recall her name at the Palace Theatre. Laughter and tears, fun-filled evenings, a shadow of its form itself. This Palace Theatre, a shadow of its form itself. Pete, I'm sick of it. Sick of the blather, sick of the lies, sick of the stupidity, sick of the sincerity that radiates from our screens, sick of the sycophantic prostration at the feet of those who would do us harm. I'm sick of it, Pete. Sick of it. Sick of the hate. Sick of the haters. Sick of hating. Sick of caring. Sick of those that care. Sick of those that don't care. Sick of believing. Sick of those that believe. Sick of God in all its manifestations. Sick of the clerics that promote it. Sick of those that believe in it. Sick of the books and the bells and the candles. Sick of understanding the other side of the argument. Sick of being fair. I'm sick of it. Sick of the psychosis that renders me impotent in the face of the machine. I'm sick of it. Sick of the well-meaning charlatans who serve the avatars of avarice. Sick of the good. Sick of the suffering fools who bleed truth like it's yesterday's news. I'm sick of it. Sick of Black Fridays. Sick of weekends. Sick of Blue Mondays. Sick of working for a living. Sick of banking. Sick of insurance. Sick of being insured. Sick of unlimited data. Sick of unlimited texts. Sick of iPhones and new phones and cars phones and homophones, sick of social media platforms, sick of being connected, sick of having it shoved in my face, sick of having it rammed down my throat, sick of having the shirt ripped off my back, sick of feeling, sick of not being able to feel, sick of identity, sick of my blood, sick of sense, sick of nonsense, sick of posturing, sick of preening, sick of the sight of all of you who would proscribe our joy, who would limit our love, who would send us forth to maim and to kill, who would seduce our essence with promises. I'm sick of it, sick of how it is, sick of nostalgia for the way it was, sick of all new tomorrows, sick of all our yesterdays, sick of current affairs, sick of history, sick of then, sick of now. Um, I was going to start off with a nice calm one, but after that vitriol, I've got to come on with this one. It's called No Spoilers. Just to like, ease us out of that vitriol down to like a level three rather than level eight. I could tell you how this story ends, but you already know. Everybody dies. Everyone you know and love. Everyone you'll never meet. Every living thing returns to dust. Every solitary star winks out and all that's left is the void, the ever-expanding emptiness, 
the inescapability of futility in this celestial tale. This economy of scale, we're a mere hummingbird's wingbeat. For us though, each subsequent second of time's marching feet relentlessly drags us into a finite future. Yet knowing this, we carry on, fingers in our ears, la 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 on our tongue, filling our present with delusions, distractions, illusions, abstractions, narrative, fiction, declarative, diction, anything, so we escape the ennui. We exist here in each elastic moment, free from the shackles of the past, its well-thumbed, grubby, dog-eared pages, and all the terrors of the future's towering imagined tyranny. Now is all we have guaranteed, to fill as we see fit, with friends, or solitude, sloth, or sensation, that is our present. So soothsayers and fortune tellers, hold your tongues. Your presumptuous predictions, they're all redundant. Each of us have crystal balls for eyes. There you go. Yeah, this is really nice. I've, I've like not met any of you people. So hi Chi and hi Pete and hi, hi Gabby. Dear. Um, hello. <laughs> and, and the other, and little Pete and all the other people here who I don't think I have seen yet. Um, but yeah, uh, anyway, this is called Compass. Serene on the surface duck feet paddling the way my tongue stutters when i'm nervous words falling by the way been busy making headspace space for my heart painted a happy face in brush strokes and called it art now i'm trying to stay true to my cause true to my cause chest filling up and spilling out across my face i'm angry elated out of time and out of place skin like sand damp cheeks salty eyelashes try to call each moment by name but this flood it comes in flashes and i'm trying to stay true to my cause true to my cause Pulling up roots, just starting to take hold. Trading life in a greenhouse, creature comforts in the cold. Been starting to wonder if my love for freedom's my cage. Don't want to be so far from home and alone in my old age. So I'm trying to stay true to my cause, true to my cause. This is called Poem. I was fabulous once, but I'm not anymore. I could reach for the heights, now I'm down on the floor. I was fabulous once, I was king of the hill, now the fabulous people just make me feel ill. I had fabulous hair and a fabulous grin. I was fabulous all over and also within. My coat was so fabulous and so were my shoes. But just look at me now, it's really old news. I was fabulous once, why does it vex me? I was fabulous once and really quite sexy. I was ever so sweet and very charming. But just look at me now, it's really alarming. <laughs> I see fabulous people on Facebook and Twitter. I was just like them once when I was much fitter. I was fabulous once, but life has its limits. I was fabulous once for about five minutes. Thank you. Boogie dance, boogie dance, the endless beehives on the street. Endless beehives on the street eating peanut butter as if I like peanut butter and pasties and dead Coca-Cola and dead pigeons that fly around over this tree. 
I do really dead pigeons like Coca-Cola. Do dear pigeons really eat pasties? Because I tell you what, I don't like pasties myself. Because it's Bugadesh, Bugadesh, Bugadesh on the street. Does anybody know what Bugadesh is? Sorry about that. I thought I'd just do a little a bit in props there. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> right. Uh, is he finished yet? Is he absolutely finished? Boring us to death with his Bugadesh, Bugadesh, Bugadesh. <laughs> well, I'd like to introduce you now to um, some good friends of mine called Franklin Street. So if you'd like to come up, give them a round of applause. <laughs> Woo! One more round of applause. Woo! It's so exciting to be out and uh, playing live. And really big thank you to Wonder Zoo who have supported us right from the beginning because uh, we started playing last year and we played a couple of times for them. So really big thank you to Pete, to Chai, to Gabby, to Soundman. <laughs> um, thank you so much. Um, and this is our first song called Broken Boy. months in lockdown it's really nice today to be able to present a show outdoors in the street and it's going to be really nice to get a Union Street gig off the ground it's just hope we eventually come out of this and we can get back to some sort of normality and one day I'll hug every single one of you again thank you thanks for coming Woo! 